everyone, this is PK Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another video for you and this will be a review of the first season of The Last of Us. Now there will likely be spoilers throughout for the show so just beware when going into this overall video. Now as you most know the show is a big budget HBO live action adaptation of the famous computer game franchise that was created by Naughty Dog back in 2013. Taking the same scenario of the games, it tells the story of a present day 2023 completely ravaged by a fungus virus epidemic that leaves large portions of the world barren of major food, water and supplies. In many cases humans would be infected by the virus and be transformed into zombie mutated like beings. The main story follows two protagonists, one a smuggler named Joel and a young teenage girl named Ellie who we learn is actually immune to the virus after being bitten by a zombie creature many years ago. We see them travel from place to place trying to survive against many different obstacles and antagonists. Now going into this series there was a lot of hype and scrutiny in terms of a video game adaptation would it fail to deliver like the first season of Halo or would it prove that video games can successfully be adapted into television. Now I'm going to be in the extreme minority here but sadly the series has been somewhat of a disappointment. The biggest issue here is a lack of compelling narrative. After initially a very good setup in a season opener, the majority of the series consisted of Joel and Ellie just wandering around different locations without any substantial development or purpose. Now yes, I understand that's the narrative of the games, but when you're watching an ongoing series, story wise you need more to sustain your interest. Now there are hints of other factions in terms of potential tyrannical leaders, we see them encountering a group of cannibals later on in episode 8. We get certain illusions about how the virus can affect people in different ways and we did have the series stand up sequence where we had the mass outbreak of the bloaters but the show's episodic nature means that these elements are never expanded upon. We introduce potentially interesting characters and developments before just returning back to the status quo of Joel and Ellie travelling around. It's very much the same issue that we see with the Mandalorian and this is one of the biggest problems when you have a post apocalyptic survival story unless you expand on the universe it quickly becomes very one note and eventually boring and yes there were many times when the show was just a chore to get through. The 50 minute to 1 hour runtime for each episode just didn't help things especially when you have flashback stories such as the two gay men and their relationship in episode 2 and when we saw Ellie's backstory in episode 7. Now both of these arcs could have been told in a really efficient 20 to 30 minutes but they're dragged out to over an hour with very little to no relevance for the season going forward afterwards. Now as mentioned before in the season premiere, the comparisons between this and The Walking Dead are all there to see and really are unavoidable. It's literally the same setup, the same tone, the same look, the same sound. Now whilst Walking Dead was accused of filler and slow burn as well, but at the very least we had the threat of the walkers which would at many times generate lots of tension and dread and suspense and intensity. But minus episodes 5 and 8, the Last of Us had nowhere near the same amount of intensity as The Walking Dead and yet it had double the slow burn. Now despite all of this there are positives towards the show, in terms of the production levels they were very high and this is what you would expect from HBO and in terms of the cinematography the show looked absolutely great, really creating that sense of a gritty desolation and dystopia. Both Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey were convincing in their performances in the lead roles as Joel and Ellie, of course we know them previously seeing them in Game of Thrones. And they do have a really good energy and chemistry together and that's definitely needed in order to carry the episodes when there are certain lulls in terms of the action and intensity. And yes we did have stand up moments again going back to both episode 5 and episode 8. Episode 5 especially where we had the breakout of the bloaters and this is in many ways what disappointed I think many fans is that we never alluded to that event after it happened with the remaining episodes. We then go on to the finale which in many ways kind of summed up the whole series where again we saw Joel and Ellie captured and we made reference again to Ellie's immunity and how they were going to perform operations on her in the hope of generating a cure for the population. Having grown a very personal attachment to Ellie, Joel breaks out of his capture and ends up taking out all of the soldiers and breaking Ellie free from the hospital before lying to her about why she was taken in and then the episode just ends on a very flat note. So when I watch this finale, like the series itself, I'm constantly asking the question, why do we need to come back from season 2? What dangling threads or cliffhanger moments were there throughout this finale to keep us excited in anticipation for what goes on for the second season? 
there weren't any. Because again, like this season itself, whenever it got to something potentially interesting, it reverted back to just Joel and Ellie wandering around. And I do think to myself, were there certain budget constraints with this show? Because when you look at the certain scenes that were played out in this show and compared to the video games, the video game had this much more explosive and expansive run of action and intensity that we just didn't see within the series minus the fifth episode. And I just feel in terms of the overall narrative, it was just too muted. It was too uneventful, whilst not terrible in terms of the acting and production. There just wasn't enough here to keep me really excited going from episode to episode. And a lot of the time I was really struggling to justify the existence of the show, apart from it being an adaptation of a famous computer game. So whilst not terrible, whilst not awful, and probably it was a step up from the Halo series adaptation, for me, season one of The Last of Us was probably something of a disappointment, not really providing the thrills or excitement that we should have got with a story like this. And at times it really struggled to maintain any competent elements throughout its overall story. And I just hope that for season two, they managed to invest a lot more in the universe and break away from its standalone episodic nature to give us far more of a immersive and really compelling story to go along with the fine acting performances. So that's my overall thoughts and feelings and review of the first season of The Last of Us. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm sure for anybody watching, they'll probably be in disagreement with me. If you do disagree, let me know why in the comments. Do you think this is one of the best shows and best adaptations of a video game franchise? And if so, let me know within the comments. And if you have any other suggestions regarding any other movies or television series or any other issues of any entertainment culture that you'd like to see me cover, then also drop me a suggestion within the comments and I will see if I can provide further commentary for you on that subject matter within the future. Please also hit and like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now. Take care of yourselves and I will see you very, very soon.